Okay, so I want to make some points about log4j vulnerability here. You know, my channel is basically all about FastIO. And yeah, I would like, to, I, I want to make the video for, for some days, but I just forgot it. But I don't think it's, it's probably not too late to just mention the log4j stuff. Now, log4j is a security vulnerability that's just very serious, right? Just like, it's even worse than internal blue. And this time it's happening in Java. It's not happening in memory on safe language as those Ross folks love to say, oh, it's all C++ fault, right? All the vulnerabilities are C++ or C or C++ problem, but even C++, right? C++ kill their mom, whatever. But the reason I want to mention this vulnerability is that this vulnerability, of course, can happen in any language, right? It can happen in any language. What a lot of people say, what, what, what is the language is doing? It's actually, if you just read the monitor, I, I don't even know what the log folder stuff is. I don't even use it. But the log, log 4 j vulnerability is actually a format string vulnerability. You can see this format string, right? Because the reason, fundamental reason is, is format string, right? That's exactly what I want to talk about today. Format string, right? Format string vulnerability. Format string vulnerability have been talked for a very long time here. Right? Format string vulnerability. And log4j is exactly format string vulnerability, right? Format string vulnerability things at <coughs> And, and and the problem with with the with the vulnerability here is that with C, I want to talk about the phenomenon that in C plus plus community is about the entire FMT losers, right? The FMT libraries, right? The FMT is a bunch of losers, right? It's a cult right now. I I would argue that FMT library is a cult right now. The FMT library is exactly like this, right? It's doing exactly this. But people fail to understand about that. Now, the, 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 the FMT also is going to complain, or is, is going to argue that, and we have fixed it, we only make it runnable at the compile time. But we know C++ compiler allows micros, right? You can define the micro things, then you have a format string here, right? And unfortunately, C++ does a lot of things if you look at STDR, I think it's STDR, not STDR. It's entire uh, freestanding C++. Uh, it's entire printf format string stuff. Printf format string should be in the, in the, which one? It should, I think it should be CSTDR. Of the list. Right. Whatever percent S, whatever percent D. Should be C limits. Uh, not C limits. Which one? C C to int. Yeah. So we see C to int here. No, no, not this. PRI, whatever. We wish which are uh, in types. Oh, not freestanding C plus plus, but. Right, but the, the scene type is here. Right? We have entire header file that just contains format string. Okay, that just contains format string. And, and, and with micros, with micro stuff. Okay, we have a history over that. People are using format string for doing those those things. For putting micros, what you can do with it. Particularly people just now using the code generator or some other stuff. This vulnerability can still happen in C++. Even you put out a format string at a compile time, it can still happen. I, I mentioned that before, right? How do you get an attack to format here or FMT, whatever, right? But WG21 doesn't care, right? This is something what IO stream does, right? Right, this is exactly what IO stream does right. I know people are saying IO stream is wrong, but here is exactly what IO stream does right. It doesn't. It just simply does not allow any format. Right. 
from the string vulnerability, including other similar vulnerability, the fundamental cause is that you, you just, the, the, the format string is just redundant, right? Format string is just redundant. I still don't understand why people are think format string is something that is important. I don't know, right? I don't, I, I cannot understand. Ah, oh, hey. I don't use format string and, and the word is nothing wrong. It's just nothing wrong with, with my word, okay? I just print things, right? Print A, B, C. That's what was the point, what, why not? Right? Why, why do you need format string? I still don't get the point. Why do you need format string? Now, some people are arguing, it's readability, whatever, all sorts of reasons. All sorts of excuses. Oh, other language had that, so we must have that. But you don't see the problem with some language that have it. And the reason one language have one feature does not mean another language should have that kind of features, right? Every language is designed for different purposes. You cannot just say a feature in one language should be introduced in another language. I know we, C++ had a failed history of doing that, right? We have through Ragam. What a disaster that is. Current school format. It's exactly the problem, right? And I won't surprise even with that, you still have format stream vulnerability, right? And a lot of libraries not going to use your style as to format because you're not designed for anything that is deal with that way. For example, what do you do if with Android ADB, Android logging system, for example? You're not solving those problems. You just say, hey, we're just using format, to format everywhere. And the, the, the author of MFT has a weird, a weird thought on what is the format binary bloat means. Okay. If you're in the security industry, they will tell you binary bloat is that the code doesn't, doesn't does not get reached. But on the on the hurt on his contacts, right? On the, the, the FMT loses contacts, uh, it means duplications. I don't know what what why they are thinking that way. It has nothing to do with binary bloat, and that's not what binary bloat means. And so we just print ABC. What's wrong with it? I just print ABC, right? It cannot get wrong. You can never get format string vulnerability by just print ABC here. So that's exactly what IO stream does, right? Uh, I I feel I, I, I also this is just a problem. I don't I do not understand why all those languages have those features. I think currently some new languages like VLAN, even 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 even, even v, v language are doing the right thing. They're using interpolated string letter and Lua, you know, I used Lua a lot before for writing what worker add-ons. I think what the, the Lua is doing exactly the right things. The only problem with that is that if you try to print a B, it will append in, in a, a space here. It will print it out as a B, right, instead of just a B, which is when you try to avoid that in space, you cannot do that, right? Um, but but all those the functionality does prevent format string vulnerability, right? And it's faster, it's much faster. Of although some languages go through that screen up, like Java is probably going through that screen up, it just simply just append format string, uh, append string everywhere. That's the, why they have all, now they have this format string vulnerabilities here. It will happen, right? If, if, if we, t we don't change the mentality of format string here, right, you're gonna, you're gonna suffer from it, right? I think my library is doing exactly the right thing, okay? I, my library is doing exactly the right thing. There's no format string at all. I hate format string, and we don't need format string. With a word without format string is also very flexible, right? No, we can do whatever we want. We can just for everything is flexible, right? We can do anything where we want. We can do anything here, right? We can do fix whatever. We can print it on the mode without worrying about format string at all. Okay, oh, this is complex stuff. It's ridiculous, but it it can give it can give you manipulators that can be used. In all platforms, right? all this testing, of course, you're gonna have no problem. You just print ABC, right? You just print one by one, 
you don't worry about any full S3 vulnerability. This NUS knows us uh, such vulnerability at all. Right? You don't need that. Okay, that's my point. Okay, sorry. There's just no point at all. No reason for full mass string at all. That's my whole point. So I think I think this video probably gonna help you a lot to think more. I really wanna wanna want you to think more about full mass string. You don't need it. Okay, anyone who's using full mass string, they are wrong. You shouldn't you simply shouldn't use full mass string. That's my point. Okay? People are gonna disagree with me. I would argue full mass string is one of the worst mistakes in the history. Right. I think that my typo should just be put out full mass string is a one is 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 a billion dollar mistake. Full mass string should not exist. Right. Okay, that's all the video.